The Honorable Kamran Armam, Zeb Sheikh, Cameron Bailey, Kiran Rao, all the distinguished guests present here. It's very hectic. Thank you, sir. I would now like to invite Mr. Zeb Sheikh, Toronto Film Commissioner and Director of Entertainment Industry. Toronto. Uh, warm wishes, and he's really looking forward to visiting Maharashtra and India before his term is over. And I actually bring a direct quote from Councillor Michael Thompson, who's the Chair of Economic Development and Culture uh, at the City of Toronto, and who's been a, a real force in focusing Toronto's interests, business interests, on a creative level and others um, towards Maharashtra and Mumbai. Uh, Councillor Michael Thompson says, this agreement represents the dawn of a new era in collaboration between two of the world's great film... introduce the second segment of tonight's program. First, I'm going to call on a friend and a man I admire greatly, Cameron Bailey, the artistic director of the Toronto International Film Festival. <laughs> person of the Geomami Mumbai Film Festival with Star. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Maharashtra in Mumbai, Premier Win. So nice to have you. Uh, good evening, Tawri Saab, uh, Mr. Sheikh, Valsa. My friends on the stage, Cameron and Ranveer. Um, I'm so happy to be here to represent Geomami, uh, a festival that was started, well, now 18 years ago. But uh, Anupama and I uh, sort of came on board about a year and something ago when the festival was in a fairly difficult uh, position. And it was then when we had no real idea how we would get this festival up and running, how to run a festival. Uh, she's a film critic, I'm a filmmaker, and we didn't really have the chops to do it. Uh, we, uh, we had the great fortune of having this wonderful, generous offer of support from the Toronto International Film Festival. And to be very, very honest, ladies and gentlemen, without that one, uh, that two-day little workshop that Cameron and Natalie did with us, I think we would really be way back where we started not knowing how to do anything. So uh, this is really what Toronto is about. I mean, it really told me that this is a city that extends such warmth and generosity, and uh, they opened themselves up to us and gave us so much of their uh, knowledge and their expertise in running a world-class film festival now for 40 years that it made us feel so much more reassured and felt like we could do it. So we're really very, very happy to take forward this collaboration between uh, the Toronto International Film Festival and us. As Cameron said, we are both film mad cities. And as he also said, I had my one and only, my first film premiered there. And it was one of the best experiences of my life. I can only say that I hope that this collaboration continues, that we can offer Toronto as much support as they have been giving us for this past year. We were very fortunate to have Cameron on our jury uh, in our very first year uh, helming the festival. And uh, we recently, today, had this boot camp. And I'm sure we'll have many, many op more opportunities to actually work together and make this a very fruitful partnership. Thank you. I second everything Kiran just said. And now I'm going to call on one of India's most exciting actors, Ranveer Singh. Ranveer was in Toronto for the IFA Awards in 2011. He's going to tell us about the Canadian film industry and the possibilities for cooperation. Really, Anuji, I'm supposed to talk about all of that intelligent stuff? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening to all the esteemed guests.
guests here tonight. Uh, I'm only here to up the eye candy quotient of the event. Yeah, I, I really have nothing uh, to contribute. Uh, then I, uh, they, I said, why, why are you calling me at an event like this? They said, come, just you can be eye candy. Then I came here, I saw Cameron, I was like, what is my job here? Guys, yeah, make me talk intelligent. You're going to expose me. You're going to expose me. But uh, to be honest, um, yes, Toronto was a most memorable experience. My first IFA, one of my first debut awards, and one of uh, my first live performances in front of so many people. I think there were about 50,000 people there that night, and it was an overwhelming experience uh, to see the kind of love that the diaspora has for our films, uh, they just, there's just an outpouring and it can be very, very overwhelming. And I'm very, very proud uh, member of the Hindi film fraternity. And I would love, uh, you know, for one of my films to open at TIFF. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> so a lot of big films shoot in Toronto. You know? <laughs> like Triple X. <and> <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, so clearly, like everybody said, we're all, you know, we're all lovers of film. And I'm really happy that this uh, association is happening, uh, fostering positive growth for, for both and everybody all around. Um, Toronto, you know, is like, uh, you were saying there's so many Indian people in Toronto and Hindi films are there, one big cultural connect, you know. Um, so this is pretty amazing. And lastly, I'd like to conclude uh, by congratulating Anuji and Kiranji on the most amazing work that they've been doing for Mami. A round of applause, guys. <laughs> Ladies, you killed it. You absolutely killed it. And thank you, Mr. Bailey, for the expertise that you provided so kindly, so generously. I'm very, very proud. Uh, Mumbai kar, sir. <laughs> Jai Hind, Jai Maharashtra. <laughs> very, very proud Mumbai boy. And I always believe uh, in what you believe in, in what you believe in, is that a city like this with the, the heart and the home of the most prolific film industry in the world should have a rich film festival. And we're working on it. And we're growing leaps and bounds and at an unprecedented rate. So two thumbs up and a round of applause for everybody here tonight. That's what you call a star speech, I say. <laughs> Thank you, Ranveer. And now, Premier Wynn, can I call on you to wrap up the evening? how I ended up having to follow Ranveer. That's, that's just wrong. I know you're all sitting there saying, oh, we feel really sorry for her. <laughs> she has to talk after him. <laughs> He's wonderful. Isn't he wonderful? Yes. <laughs> so good evening, everyone. And to all of the dignitaries here and in the audience and over here, thank you all so much. Um, and I know everyone has different roles and different positions. But what I love about movies is they're a great leveler. We're all 16 years old and we're really excited to go to the movies. That's what this room is full of, a bunch of 16-year-olds who love going to the movies. So I'm, uh, I'm just thrilled to be here. I think this is uh, a great partnership. Um, you know, and I know that when I go back to Ontario, some media brain will ask me, well, what were you doing? You were in that shalwar and you were with the movie stars and what's that got to do with an economic trade mission? And I'm going to be very clear about this. This is part of our economic potential. It's part of our economic potential because of the Indian, Indian diaspora in Canada, but it's part of our economic potential because film and art speak to our soul and without that, I don't know what we have as, a human, as human beings. So it's extremely important to me that we acknowledge that art 
and the economy are not separate and apart. They are one and the same. They are integrated. And it's our responsibility to make sure that art flourishes. So. So thank you, Minister. Thank you, Zeb. Thank you, Valsa. Thank you so much, Kieran. And uh, thank you, Cameron, for making the trip. And Renvi, thank you so much for being who you are. <laughs> So um, I want to I want to issue a very special welcome to all of the representatives from India uh, India's film industry joining us this evening, um, and I uh, I think with so much talent on hand um, I'd be asked to serve as an old extra, but but I'll settle for a supporting role, Van Beat. That's all that's all I need. <laughs> Um, but really, that's what our government wants to do. Our government wants to play a supporting role. I believe that government can facilitate. Government absolutely cannot do what all of you do. But we can put in place a framework that allow all of you to thrive. Um, our province is the number one center for film and TV production in Canada and the third largest film production location in North America. That's a pretty... That's a pretty impressive statistic, given the size of our population relative to the size of our geography. I think we punch above our weight, and it's, uh, it's one of the sectors that we really have invested in. Um, and we've got decades of experience. We've got high-quality infrastructure and reliable tax credits. And I'll tell you, the film industry has been very clear with me that keeping that regime of tax credits in place is critical to the success of the industry. So we are uh, very aware of that. Ontario remains the most competitive place in Canada for foreign film, TV production, computer animation, and special effects. And these are the advantages that make Ontario an ideal location for expanding the overseas production of Indian films. And, you know, Ranveep also already talked about the diaspora. Um, the, the big reason that Bollywood films, Indian films, have taken off in Ontario is because there's 700,000 Indo-Canadians in Ontario. That's a big audience. That fills a lot of movie theaters, so it's a, it's a great success. But of course, the enthusiasm goes way beyond the diaspora. Once, once people discover Bollywood, they're excited by it. We were the first place in North America to host the International Indian uh, Film Academy Weekend and Awards. IFA was so exciting. I was there. It was an unbelievable crowd and an unbelievable buzz. It was just fantastic. The Ontario Media Development Corporation has led delegations to the Film Bazaar at the International Film Festival of, Festival of India in Goa. And in 2014, the Government of Canada signed an audiovisual co-production agreement with India. Clearly, the time is right for Ontario to partner with Indian filmmakers to bring their unique perspectives to the international market. So I want to congratulate the City of Toronto, and I know that uh, Mayor Tory is right there with you, and, the, uh, and TIFF, along with uh, MAMI, fantastic, and, uh, and the Cultural Development Corporation and the Mumbai Academy of the Moving Image and MAMI on the agreements that they've signed today. These memoranda of understanding are very important because what they do is they, they begin to formalize a relationship and they provide a framework within which things like the workshops and the boot camps and the sharing of knowledge can happen. So that's why I'm thrilled that we're, uh, we're taking that step today. And these outstanding organizations will advance their common interests because what we know is if your industry thrives, our industry thrives, and we can, we can be mutually supportive. So thank you very much. Film's a universal medium, and it transcends language, it transcends culture and borders and age, and it brings us together. So as the Premier of Ontario, I'm proud of how our government has helped artists. We want to keep doing that. The actors, the writers, the directors who contribute to creative visual arts, you're a very, very important part of our economy, of our culture. Thank you very much, and I look forward to all the new and exciting projects that we're going to see come out of this relationship. Thank you very much. Thank you, Premier Wynne. Um, I believe now we have to do some pictures. Are 